for having this process, this call. Uh, it was a pleasure really to meet you in, in London DeFi Summit. We really talk a lot about, about investing in, in crypto. So for all the Spanish uh, people, I will probably translate later uh, our, our interview. Can you describe or can you introduce yourself? Sure. So my name is Peter Moritz. Uh, I'm born in Hungary, uh, Budapest, Hungary. I lived there till I was 13. Then I moved to Chicago, Illinois, in the United States. And I went to school there. And when I finished university, I went to work on the Chicago Board of Trade. Uh, on the floor of the Chicago Board of Trade at the university, and I learned how to become a trader uh, in the fixed income futures market. And when I was done trade, uh, yeah, I was trading on the floor, and the electronic trading was coming on in uh, uh, 1997, 1998 in the in the Board of Trade. You know, they were competing against the Merck, uh, CME, with the Globex. So I was one of the first electronic traders that left the floor and start trading overnight. And in the beginning, the overnight was quite uh, quiet. And the main reason I went over to work on a, uh, at the nighttime, because at that time, the, to be on the floor and into the pits, on the floor of the pit, uh, the badges costed $8,000 just to stand in the pit without doing anything. So it was quite expensive. And as a 24-year-old runner at that time, you cannot really afford to do something like that. And to trade overnight, it cost you only two hundred fifty dollars. So it was called a night badge. Yeah, that was the yeah. old co-working spaces, no? <laughs> In yeah, that's practice, right. We are trying to to do like this uh, a bit, so like like a co-working space for people who wants to trade in crypto. And I, and I think in some way uh, we are really doing the same that the markets in the past. Uh, they have a place to share this uh, work with yeah. other people. Yeah. I, I think what uh, one big, yeah. I think the one thing is, is that when you were on the floor of the trade, you have guys who were down there for for generations, right? So they got to know the market, and their that was passed down from generation to generation. The crypto market is quite young, you know, and it's really kind of just picked up trading wise for the last maybe two years. That really, you know, a lot of volume and liquidity came in that you can make those kind of trades with, you know, with all these exchanges are popping up everywhere. Um, so. It's still a new market, you know. You can look at technicals, but there's more to more to it, uh, in my opinion. It's not a different valuation. That's why you have people from you know the traditional investing firm coming in there and try to uh, predict where the market goes, and then goes completely other way. And then they try to go, oh, it's gonna go up to twenty thousand, then it goes up. Now it's gonna go down to three thousand, then it, you know, like back, there's no real, you know, they have no rhyme and reason because they just look at the charts. But there's, you know, the crypto market has much more to it, and yeah. You know, it's a, still a learning process in there. Um, so about uh, Moritz Ayo, uh, can you tell me about yeah. the fund that you right now are managing and how can yeah, so, credited investor can can join or can invest? Yeah, so Moritz Ayo, it was my consulting team arm. Um, when I stopped doing ICOs, uh, I, I see that, that people need quite, quite educate. They want to learn, right? They need education on that. And when I was in, I lived in London for five years, I got to know quite a bit of people in the developing community and the blockchain community. So it was, you know, as we all know, there's a lot of scammers in the space. And I was trying to be one who help out, you know, give the people the right, uh, go to the right people, where the right developers are, where the right technical writers are, you know, who can help them out. I don't, I don't care for scammers. I like helping, I like new products. I like to make sure, you know, this. As you can see on your own place, there's a lot of new, exciting young people come out who want, who need some guidance, who need some connection help to, you know, how they work. So that's, with more Tayo, that's why I, I was used to doing. But in the last three or four months, I really start focusing on the decentralized finance, DeFi. I mean, let's call it open finance because it's not really decentralized besides Uniswaps. And I think there are some opportunities in there that it, I think could be very interesting going forward, right? So the fund I, I found right now is called uh, Quantify, and uh, we are investing in stable coins. Uh, and you know, so we want to be like a, a very simple way for people to invest in called like a money market, like a bond, bond the normal bank money market where so you can just put your money in for three months or six months, nine months. You can take your money money out anytime, so it's not a long time lockup period. You know, give us sixty days of notification, uh, thirty day or sixty days notification. We can take your money out, and you can uh, go anywhere from you know ROI return is between eight, 
eight to ten percent. You so know, what, what depends what, how safe you are, and you know you can watch it. So what, what you're yeah. thinking about that? You're thinking about compound, or you are what, what kind of? Prod uh, is one of the protocols we're looking at. I mean, DXDY, you know, uh, Fulcrum, you know, there's other platform that. And if you want to get the backing of the USDC, uh, like USDC stablecoin is backed by fiat currency, so it's it, it's uh, it, and then back of that they're backed by the FDIC insurance. So up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. If your money goes something goes wrong, you get you actually get your money back. So depends how safe you want to have this uh, your money. Die is is not backed by you know it's it's still one to one, but it's not one to one to the dollar. It's it's more of a you know fluctuation around the uh, around the one to one market the, to the back to the dollar. So but for that you don't need KYC ML. You're not really into the fiat system. So that's where you have your advantage, right? So if you don't want to do, go through all the hassle of, you know, buying into that kind of, you know, KYC ML and go through the hassles that you don't want to be in the banking system where everything is tracked, this is one area where you can get into it at the moment. I know they're thinking about so, getting into it around. So in that case, I think probably your, your cost will be probably to pass from fiat to digital US dollar. Probably you would have here some some cost, and I don't know if uh, you probably get money or money from USD from investors. You go to to fee to to token or to to digital crypto. You go to full crown or this kind of space. After that, you return the. So probably you win a, a more higher return rate, higher than the the dollar right now one. And you have the cost of ramping, probably, no? So that's that's the main. Yeah, I mean, for now, it's costing. You know, everything is very transparent, right? So we are doing. Uh, we what we want everyone. You know, what we are trying to do is give more of a traditional back end system, which everything is regulated, everything is looked after, um, and everything is covered uh, in a very strong risk management because I put a, a very, besides me having a 20 years of trading experience, you know, my partner who worked at the, all the top, you know, top banks, UBS, Deutsche, Board, Deutsche Bank, uh, the quant to be, you know, that's why I want to be sure to have a very strong risk management and very strong back office with governance. To me, that's very important because everything else can be done on your own if you really pay attention to that. But you have to pay attention to that. You know, this is uh, what we do 27. And do you think these high return rates are going to still uh, in that Last. level in the future? Because in my point of view, it's probably that the cost of capital right now in the in the token uh, in the token market right now is higher than will be in the future. Or, or yeah. Yeah, I think what you have right now, it's 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 gonna last for a shorter period of time, right? But as you can see, the mar as a market goes down, actually the yield goes up, right? Because people start uh, parking their money in the cars to get APR. Uh, if somebody gets, you know, if somebody borrows, you know, money, they have to pay that back. And if the market goes too far down, you know, that they, they have to they, they have to pay everything back, and then they need more die. So it's it, it's a tricky thing because. MakerDAO came to life during the crash, right? So it really came around around 2018. So it's been, you know, you can look at crash proof and for, for that. Um, but, you know, it's a new market. I mean, that's what that's why you're getting the yield. You know, it's a new market. It's, it's uh, you get a lot of risk. You need to look at to not just uh, what's going on in the market, but also smart contract, you know, make sure there's no bugs, make sure the Oracle doesn't get uh, hijacked. Uh, Oracle is when the, the data system, it comes in and the payments. But there's a lot of things you need to pay attention to. It's becoming such a new field that always something new comes out. And that's the exciting part, but you do need to pay a lot of attention to that. That's why, okay. yeah. Okay, and what is your return right now, the return rate in the last six months, the, the so medium? You would, get, you, would, you would be able to get a, a return ROI of about eight, nine percent. Nine percent? Eight yeah. to nine percent. Yeah, because it's fluctuate. You can go down to seven percent. You can go up to fourteen percent. You know, so it, and that's why we're monitoring. You know, monitoring 14, all the time. Fourteen, 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 okay. 
Yeah, I mean, at one point, uh, you know, for for a short period, one, one of our uh, like DX DY popped up to twenty four percent. Yeah. Right? yeah. But middle of the night, so I know some Spanish people like to be up late night, so you go see it. But I had to jump yeah. out of bed to see what's happening to move money around to get that. But we have that automated now, so we don't even have to. So what you know, they give us the where the best rate is across all the for uh, um, protocols, and that's where the money goes. Um, okay, really, really interesting. I think it's for sure right now one way of having more interest in a in a world with probably the historical low interest rate of of the, our history. So that yeah. I think it's right now the the timing to do it. Uh, yeah, it's really a a way to 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 extract some some return from from the crypto capital market that you usually people think about Bitcoin, Ethereum, not not really in that. Yeah, way exactly. This return. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what, like, what you said. You have, you know, all the all the banks, especially invest in Europe. You know, the yields are going. They're negative yields, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Amazing. If you look at Scandinavia, you have, you know, negative mortgages. I mean, and I think there's about a seventeen trillion dollars worth of bonds are under, you know, uh, uh, in negative yields, and it's only going. You know, JP Morgan just came out saying that you're going to have longer, and we don't even know what's the you know, you, you know, we putting money in and you're getting less back. I mean, it, it, to me, it just, you know, it just, it, you know, I've been, we've been living here and been trading and you've never seen anything like it. So if I, you have some, if you have something safer that you can get le even five, six percent, that's more than you would get back from your bank. So, and about that, uh, at final, the trade off is the risk, no? Uh, you are really, really having the risk on a smart contract, but as you say, you have some insurance in some of the yeah. the projects, so yeah, that the the thing is, where is the risk where you are really yeah. taking? That's why you're paying me to for the fees to make sure that I have you know I have it covered for you, you know. For, yeah. So when you're investing, the money is saving us. So when you give me the money, you get money back plus more. That's the whole reason to you know uh, to have this uh, thing something set up like that. Okay, really interesting. I will, if you can send us some information about your phone, it will be really great to share with all our people who really are watching us. Uh, right, really, really Perfect. thank you for for this interview. I think you have uh, uh, you have really make us to think about another way of investing in, in the crypto market. And yeah, right. for a lot of people who is not okay. uh, risk is risk averse in some way, we can do a way of doing it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, right, especially with the market. I mean, I see the market is selling off again. You know, this is uh, people have to remember it's a young market, but it's an alternative asset class that it's, uh, it, it's you know, it will get stronger and stronger. So I will leave you to that. And yeah, please, if you have any questions, let you know, happy to reach out to me and happy to answer them. Okay, thank you very much. Great. Thank you very much. Bye bye.